Hey, what's up, Sandy? How's it going? Hey, Michael. We have a special guest. Say what's up, Ali. Hi, everyone. It's Ali from Docsite. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for having me. I really am starting to appreciate more and more people not only realizing like how incredible Docsites is, but we're seeing it, right? We're seeing people like ramp up, talk about it, share their sites and everything like that. So it's a beautiful thing. Can I say something, Michael? Say to Ali, I haven't talked to you in person since I saw your your team at the Academy of Dental Management Consultant meeting. And I was so impressed. They were very popular there, by the way. They were Thank very you. popular. <laughs> they are awesome. All the consultants were hanging around and partying with them. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we like to be out there. You know, we're not the type of company that hides behind a desk or a suit. We're out there with the, everyone. We're out there with the dentists, with the doctors, the consultants, everyone. And, you know, we try to be easily approachable, just like how we would like our doctor to be when we go visit them. And that's kind of how we've been able to be successful and people like us. And I appreciate platforms like this to help us get out there. Yeah, yeah, they really represent the company well. I would give them a bonus for that. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Those are my business partners. You guys probably saw Tavon and Parham. I'm sure they're active too. So I'm sure you guys have seen them around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're awesome people, man. But okay, in this episode, we're depending on you, Ollie. We notice, and I'm sure you've noticed this, there's a lot of things that make a website flashy, great, good. But there's also some things that they don't have in place that could be holding that website or their practice back, where their website is literally holding them back, right? From making conversions, attracting new patients, and just making more profits. So talk to us a little bit more about this. How can we create a trustworthy website? What are some of the most common mistakes you've seen? Of course, there's a lot of things you could do to help improve your website, to help improve the conversions. The biggest one that I've seen, and everyone should do this right now, is go to Google, Google your practice name, you're sure to see great reviews and you've worked hard to get them. Visit your website and see, do those same reviews that you're representing you on a Google search, are they on your website? Because many people get to your website before they go to Google or however they end up there, they may miss all those great reviews. So the number one thing that's missed on a dental website is you have great reviews, whether it's on Yelp, Facebook, Google, Health Grace. You could show these off on your site because if someone gets to your site, that's the only thing you control. You don't control Yelp or Google, but you could showcase only your good reviews. You could put an Invisalign review on your Invisalign page, which will help the conversions of that page. Let's say there's so many little things you could do or your marketing or your web company can help you with to just make the website a little better. Do you want to go over some questions or do you want to go over some live examples? We could however you'd like. What do you want to do, Sandy? I say we do all of it, but... <laughs> yeah, a little bit of all of it. Yeah. I think it's great for people to have a visual. I think seeing some live examples would be great. So just quickly, just everyone put yourself in the shoes of a patient, whether that's a dental patient or someone that's looking for a new dentist online or a dentist near me or a cosmetic or someone that wants Invisalign. What do you do? You usually go to Google, you search Invisalign provider. Sometimes you get referred to this person. By some way or another, you, you end up on a dental website, whether that's through a Google search, through a referral, through an ad, through a directory, you end up on a website. Now, what are the things that you want to see on that website? So you actually pick up the phone and get set up an appointment. You feel comfortable enough to go to a new practice that you've never heard about, that you've never gone to, that you've never seen. What are the things that are going to help you make a decision? How clean the office looks? That's represented by pictures on the website. How great their reviews are. The reviews have to be on the website. The doctor's page is always the, one of the top five visited pages on the website. If you have Google Analytics, go to yours right now and go to your top pages and you'll see the doctor's page is always up there. Give your doctor's page a little more love. Show your associations, the reviews, the before, afters. These are things people want to see. Maybe a consult for Invisalign. Do you do an iTero scan? These are the things that might make someone pick up the phone or submit the request form or try to get an appointment with you. So those are just some examples. And I'll show you guys live websites as well. Nice. Okay. All right. So for those listening, if you want, you can go on the show notes below or you can go on Dental Gumbo and you can check out the video version of the podcast because Ali's going to show us right now some live examples. And you're also going to walk us through it, right? Yes. 
I was just looking for, we're having another seminar, a front desk pro training in December. And I was on websites for hotels in Dallas. And it's crazy how many of these people don't put their phone numbers. I'm like, I couldn't find the phone number. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's a big thing. Can you see my screen with the website I right now? I see a phone mm-hmm. number. Yep. All right. So a quick backstory on this. Dr. Ashley Parry came to us from your podcast and your group. She also went to one of your in-person seminars. So she's obviously the type of doctor that's trying to grow her business. She listens to coaches. She goes to consulting. She's always improving herself. She's always improving her business. She's doing a great job regardless of the website, the marketing, any of that. When she came to us, she did have a website and she was doing some marketing, strictly focused maybe on Facebook ads initially and some SEO. And we just gave her the free web console that we give anyone that reaches out to us. We went over it. She shared her report with me. It said she only had 100 organic visits from Google. And she also had paid like $900 in one month to Facebook ads that supposedly generated 15 calls that not one person in her office did attribute a single call to that, which is sometimes why data and metrics and all that's great. But if your phone's not ringing, what does that mean, right? So someone in the office has to track that. If I'm doing Facebook ads, make sure the office knows it. Make sure whoever's picking up the phone is aware so you could track that and see if it's working. And she does a great job. And her office manager told her we never had anyone from Facebook. So there was a little bit of wasted ad money there. And there was also a website that didn't represent her as well. She had videos. She had great patient testimonials. She had over 200 reviews on Google, but none of this was put together well. She had a decent website, but I'll go over what we did and what almost every website should have, whether you do it with us or yourself, to capture that audience that you're trying to capture. Let's keep in mind she's a more of a cosmetic, smile makeover, veneers, porcelain veneers, the higher end cosmetic treatments which she's in an area in Florida, which that matches their demographics. So always think about the patients in your area before you say, you know, I want to be the top one on Google for porcelain veneers. Make sure you have an audience for that. But in her case, she's in that type of area. She has a beautiful office. Her office was not showcased well on the website. So first thing we do is make sure there's a personal side to her office. She already had a nice logo. Her office has nice colors. She does great branding the blues and whatnot, her wallpaper match. So we try to incorporate her office look and feel on her website. So the soft colors and that nice ocean feel, you can see it on the website and know this is not a ten dollars or $20,000 website. It's much cheaper with us. And I'll explain how you can do the same, whether you have a professional photo shoot or you actually just use your iPhone and send us a few clips. I want to ask you, did she use an iPhone for this? No, she actually had a a professional photo shoot. She has some videos on YouTube. We took a couple of those clips and we made that little banner on the homepage. But I'm going to scroll down now. So look at the screen. But before I scroll down, the first thing that you want someone to see on your website, click to call. Where's your phone number? Of course, your logo, request an appointment. Over 200 reviews. In her case, she has amazing reviews. So that's highlighted front and center. Oh, I really I'm, like that. I'm shrinking my phone to a mobile view. Probably 50, 60% of visits are mobile. On the mobile phone, it looks just as good. Now you have a mobile menu up top. You have a click to call. You have a reviews direct. You have an appointment. So it gets friendly on the phone, but still looks as attractive as it does on the desktop. So now let's here, scroll here. down past this little video. She has an actual video that she did herself on YouTube, which introduces her practice. This is something that you definitely should do, whether you do it with an iPhone or you have time to do it. Talk about your practice. Let people know what they're coming into. Let people know how presentable your office, your equipment, your staff, and everyone is. They'll want to come in. If they see just stock photos, they might not pick up the phone and that ad money might not go to the best place. So Mm -hmm. as we scroll down, there's an intro to her office. Then it's meet the doctor because that's one of the top pages. All her associations, she does training, she's proactive. So we make sure to feature that. As you scroll down, she had all these videos on YouTube. Now, one time that someone say, let's put these on your website. So we took all her videos on YouTube. We put a, a testimonial section. You could play these videos. You could do this yourself. Just get your iPhone, hold it like this way, put it on a tripod and just say, can you share 
two minutes of your experience with us, maybe have them sign a waiver or whatever the disclaimers are, and get those on your channel, get those on your website. Those go a lot further than text testimonials. But as you scroll down, we're also pulling in her five-star reviews from Google. That lady in the back is actually one of her office team members that have been with her for many years. All these little photos, that's her, that's her office manager. She's an Invisalign gold provider. This is one of her patients. Everything is customized. That's actually her wallpaper in the back. You know, we can mm -hmm. get it pretty fancy and it doesn't cost that much money. You just have to think about it this way. We have a beautiful house that's empty. The walls are set up. The rooms are set up. Now we need your great furniture, your wallpaper and everything to make this house unique to you. You can move the walls around and say, I want to, you know, enhance the bedroom or add a story, but you could give us great things like your content, your videos, your photos, your patient testimonials, your reviews. And that's how we decorate this site, so to speak, to be personal for you and capture the audience that you're trying to get to your website. She's also proactive on social and she does some other things, but a couple of things she highlighted on every page. She has an in-house in savings plan. So that obviously helps her patients. She always makes sure that's front and center. It's also linked at the top. She's doing Google ads now. We just started. Her Google ads now is offering a smile console, veneers, Invisalign, whitening, some of the bigger smile makeover stuff. She has a console. This is a nice landing page that we made specifically for her budget because she's spending some money on ads. At least if you're spending money on ads, let the people land to something that will actually make them pick up the phone and call you. Don't do a cosmetic ad and send them to the homepage where you say, we also do braces. Send them to a cosmetic page. Why should you go to her? She has the eye tarot. Here's a little blurb of her saying how friendly they are and whatever she says to get you in. A quick form so you know that this lead came from this landing page. Here's all our comprehensive services related. And she goes one step further. She has Instagram. She sends before, after. She has patient testimonials. Uh, we update her smile gallery often. We put her Invisalign photos up. You don't have to be this proactive, but even 10% of this will do you so much better than you're probably doing now. Send a few before, afters. Showcase your photos. Showcase your staff, your office. Highlight those reviews. And don't spend any more on marketing. Take your exact same marketing dollars and apply those tips and you're going to convert better. Just make sure your staff knows how to close the lead that comes into the office, right? That's the other side of it is the website just opens the gate, the case acceptance and the nurturing and the $30,000 small makeover case. The website doesn't close that. You guys do. Yeah. Ashley's I'm killing it, man. Good her. Yeah. Yeah, I'm she's doing good. Idiot. Real quick, you said hold the phone horizontally, right? On everything? So when you're recording? In, yeah, in most cases, because here's an example of someone, a website that did not do a full video shoot that just said, we just said, go outside and go like that a little bit. Have the doctor smiling. It's not the best. It's a little shaky. But again, we're talking about dental patients. They need help with their teeth. They might have a toothache. They want some Invisalign. They're not going to say... Why is your video a little shaky on the homepage? You know what I mean? They're just yeah. say, this looks nice. This doctor looks friendly. Let me keep scrolling. Let me see what they're about. Oh, wow. They do emergency. Here's the doctors. They look cool. They look friendly. You know, here's their great reviews. They wanted to highlight general services. They have a section on what makes them different. We, yeah. we have a questionnaire whenever someone signs up and we... Try to get the most out of you to make the most of, the, of it from the side. And we actually encourage you and we bother you a little bit to get us these things because we want you to get the most of the site. You mm -hmm. don't want to just spend on a website and just launch it with stock photos again or else you might as well just go buy a template from Wix or something. Yeah. No, this is good. This is good. Uh, and I, I like, you can't even tell. Like that's, if you go to the video part, that's all done through the phone and they're holding it like an iPhone, right? Holding it horizontally. Yep. You no, you're right. Nobody's ever gonna be like, oh, I saw it shake like a point I love it. you That's know it. seconds. It's it looks fantastic. And I like what you mentioned before about mobile. It you know, we look at our at these websites on our phone. I, just last night I looked and sixty percent of the people last night on our website, it was uh mobile. So of people course. are doing that, yeah. But yeah, I really I really appreciate this. I like how you put the reviews. You mentioned a few times about the reviews, show the reviews. I like the videos and something else. I love the videos, actually. 
And Mm -hmm. right now, so many dental offices are having a hard time hiring people. And one thing, and I say this all the time to them, you have to separate yourself, just like with patients, from the other practices. So all the good people are working. Why not also have on on the website the videos for our prospective employees? Like they can go and you have your team where you actually record this yourself, where they're talking about why they like to work there. And I actually have a couple of videos like the clients have sent me. And And that's a cool way to attract employees because prospective employees are also going to your website and that the culture needs to shine through. Mm-hmm. Yep. They do a great job. Like they highlight their family, their team members, their pets, the whole team is there. And you know, we get it. There's offices that have teams like this that have been around for a long time that they'd like to highlight. And there's some offices that let's say bought a practice, the team is changing, there's always turnover and transition. There's always things like this we could do where, let's say you don't have your video ready or your team members ready to showcase. This is just a couple of nice photos of their area and outside of their office. The doctors are not going anywhere, so they're on the homepage. This is not a video per se, but let's say, you know, in three months you want to add the video, that's always an option to add. You don't have to pay extra with us. It's just, hey, Ollie, we got our new equipment, we remodeled our office. We just did a video. My cousin came in. Whatever happens, you guys could always update the website. Our monthly fee for just the website is only $59. It includes any web updates you want. So we encourage people to always keep their website. In fact, we send a newsletter saying, when's the last time you've updated your site? We're glad to help update it because people want to see exactly all that time and energy and effort you're putting in your practice. The only way a potential patient can see it is from your website. That's right. And one thing I hear about you guys, I always get good feedback, but how quick you are with updates. I keep hearing that. They're so fast, but that everybody loves you guys. I'm proud to have you guys as a sponsor because I hear so many wonderful things. Yeah. And I've also heard like your fees are so much less when it comes to building websites and maintaining websites compared to other companies. And I think that's great. That's one of the big um, problems in the industry, and that's what many dentists are frustrated with. They just want updates. They don't want to wait a month or two weeks, or sometimes they have a one-off. The web developer in the garage, we call them, where like they have one web guy that they can never get a hold of that might have been their patient two years ago that disappeared on them, that has a domain and email host. We hear all this stuff, but it's really easy to switch. It's affordable. We have no contracts. We could help you with the domain. We handle the hosting, the SSL. There's uh, many different options that that we offer. Like you said, we're very affordable. All these sites I'm showing you, the maximum without even a special offer is like about 3,000 set up. You just send us some photos. You send us some videos. 59 a month with no marketing, optional marketing packages, no long-term commitments. We encourage you guys to check us out and at least do the free web assessment get the value and go rethink and maybe present it to your current marketing company. Just yesterday, someone was in a contract for eight more months. They had 340 reviews on Google, but they weren't showcasing them and they had all stock photos. So a simple mm-hmm. one hour of updates would, would change the conversions drastically. Yeah. 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 No, this is Absolutely. real quick. $59, Ollie, for... That's just a web service, hosting, SSL, and any updates you want. So oh. if you can still see my screen, yeah, we have three different website types. The basic, which is our standard, the plus, the middle tier, and the premier, which is the ones I showed you. It's either 1000 2000 3000 Of course, we have special offers to you guys. So just call and mention Grill Bits, Dumbo, and you're not going to pay retail. But they're all $59 a month to month. The domain is yours. If you're not happy, you could take the domain, go to another provider. They could use your content however they wish, your reviews, your photos, your videos. You know, a lot of people come to us from the bigger branding agencies that they made in mind us pay 10, 20K for the video and everything. And really all it was, they had great videos. I'm going to show you a quick example if we have two minutes. Dental, actually to dentist in Norwalk, California. He's doing some marketing with us. So we also do SEO. So if you want to show up higher on search engines, one of our clients, Norwalk Dental Center, he's showing up really high. But if you go to uh, his website, you'll see he used to have a company that did the whole 
video branding, photo shoot. Let us tell your story. And it, it's very expensive sometimes to go that route, which they did. They went through it for a year or two. They were paying two or 3000 a month for bigger marketing packages and conversions and strategy meetings and some of those kind of things that we don't offer. But they ended up coming back to us and all their videos we were able to reuse. If you actually go to his services pages, this is another thing that you might want to consider doing with your iPhone or do it yourself. Like on his implants page, he talks about what is an implant? Why do an implant? How much do they cost? And he's the actual doctor that's doing it. Yeah. Or multiple teeth. A dental implant is the best one. So he paid for all these videos in that previous marketing and web package, but we're able to reuse this on our platform. So don't think that money went to waste if you have to redo your website. That content and that media is yours. We could reuse it. We just present it in a different way. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. One thing I wanted to go back on real quick is meet the team at Smiles and uh, that website. Because I know we kind of just really walked it through. And Sandy was mentioning how it's really important to to talk about your team, right? Especially if they've been on a part of your team for years. Well, these days, especially. Yeah. So they see your team more than they see the doctor, right? The doctor often is under some PPE or, I mean, everyone knows the doctor, but the team's the face of the practice. Yeah. But I really appreciate where if you're like looking throughout this process, a lot of the times if we notice, I don't know, Sandy, you can probably agree or, or disagree. I feel like sometimes we just see it where it says, oh, in her spare time, she likes to cook with her fiance and take the dogs to the park, right? But here you see pictures of them doing it or maybe even a video, but like you see pictures of them doing it. And so you feel a little bit more invested with the team. Like, yeah. oh, hey, how do you like your dog? What's your dog's name? Right. Kind of thing. I'm like a it. dental assistant and I'm looking to change jobs and I'm like, yeah, I pass this dental office every day and I'm really not happy with where I work. I'm going to look them up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Google and go to their website. And now they get a feel for the culture and say, hmm, I'm going to call and see if they're looking for anybody. Exactly. And, um, you know, you could put a submit your resume, you could put a call it for, or you could put a careers tab on your website. We've done that before for the bigger, yeah. you know, multi group offices. But yeah, just like this, you know, even on the homepage when you first get to this website, amongst these couple iPhone clips that she sent herself, we'll throw in, you'll see right now, you know, the team, everyone's smiling. So this is a great intro to like, Give someone enough of a warm feel to scroll down and see what this practice is about. Oh, she offers core teeth whitening, all that kind of good stuff that people need to see. She actually has a whole section on emergency. So every office is different. We take the time to ask what makes you different, and we want to showcase that. You may want to promote emergency. You may want to be a small makeover type of office. You may not be a volume. You might be a Medicare, whatever it is. We want to showcase that to make it different for you and to make it uh, match your demographic. Gosh. Well, again, I like how, how you really put the fact that they have five-star reviews all through the website. Mm -hmm. I, I can relate to that as a consumer. Okay, I'm you looking have to for because, that. Um, if they miss it on Google, they're going to miss it. They're not going to know you have over 200 reviews. So make sure you highlight that and make sure... You list your insurances so you don't waste your staff's time if someone calls and says, hey, do you accept uh, dental, Delta Dental? They may already have seen that on your website. So you know, honestly, I, I haven't seen anybody else do this. I think that's a great idea. Like putting their their reviews up there. How many the insurances? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, many offices do it. And besides insurance, many offices do financing. They put care credit. Yes, I've seen that. All, sure. Yeah. And a lot of them have unique links where the patient applies through the website. So it's like apply now and they right. get credit and it's linked to that doctor's profile. So we could integrate all those third party tools at no extra cost or those links. That's interesting. Right. Awesome, Ollie. I appreciate it. So this is the way to build a trustworthy website for conversions to really, really skyrocket conversions. But at the same time, for anybody listening, for, for those of you who are listening and watching as well, I hope you can kind of see also the common mistakes that, oh my gosh, I'm not, ha I don't have this. I need to have this. Updated or I haven't done that. I don't have that. Yeah. Because I feel like, and maybe Ali, you can chime in on this. A lot of the times with websites, we kind of try and put more, but I feel like it's harder to subtract because you just want to keep adding. So you really got to know like the basics, the foundations yeah. that patients want on there. You so know? Here's what 
happens and you know there's 15 years of experience so like whenever the doctor wants to enhance the website or add more they just throw services on there add services dentures partial dentures whatever that's good too in some case but no one's going to go three levels deep under services and read about they can go get that info anywhere it's get found for dentures yes you need some content to get found for dentures but once you get found, no one's going to read levels and levels. So simplifying your site, yes, we have all the services, but we typically say, what are your core services? Let's showcase those. We could still list all your services, but let's get found for the things that you want, the things that make you money, the treatments you'd like to do. And we could also show all your services. But when we say add to your website, we don't mean go and just add services and services. Add, why should they come to you for their dentistry? Why should they see you for that $20,000 porcelain veneer makeover? Why should they come to you for that Invisalign that's going to cost them X amount per month? Those are what they need to see. They already know what Invisalign dentures, implants, all these things. Yeah, no, definitely. hundred percent. So awesome. If anyone has further questions or concerns or they want to reach out to you, where can they find you, Ali? Personal cell phone number is 818-416-0007. Email is Ali at DocSites. I'm very easy to find. Just search my name, Ali DocSites. All my info's there. Mm -hmm. However you'd like to contact me, we'll do a free assessment. Even if you don't want to talk to me, you don't like my style, whatever it is, let me give you a free web assessment. You guys could take that. Just reach out to me on our website. Say, I just want to claim a web assessment. I'm not ready to talk yet. I'll give you a video. I'll take the time. Review that video. If you found it valuable, great. Call me back. If you didn't, great. If you liked it, implement it yourself. Let us do you that favor through this group. Let us show the value because this podcast and this Facebook group is really there to help provide resources. We're not just here trying to sell something. We're here trying to give value. And uh, I hope that we're mm -hmm. starting to show that. Awesome. Yeah. And guys, you can go in the show notes below. It's going to be the first link in the show notes below and schedule that free assessment and also reach out to Ali. And Sandy, any final words? Take advantage of this free assessment, everybody. I mean, the fees are fantastic. And Doc Sites has a great reputation. Awesome. So guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you in the next episode. Bye, everybody. Thank you.